What's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy, Homer Ziggy. I'm back here on another video. And today, we're here with Crip Tales from the Crip 2. And this is the official music video, and this is a one take. Now, it's like this, y'all. Literally, when I was at work, this literally just popped up on my phone. So, it's like this. I know that once I got home from work, I had to check it out cuz and it's like this y'all y'all need to be more active watching my videos man like come on I know I'm not the most like, I know I'm not like the most bombastic or so or try to or have the best bombastic background or whatnot and such but it's like this I'm a simple it's like this some of the most famous create like reaction channels or so on YouTube have a simple but somewhat have a unique background or just a simple old background and they got millions of views and such and millions of subscribers and such I mean help me out man I wanna get to a thousand subscribers or at least to five half of it so get me to half and then get me to the a thousand and then so on and so on and so on so it's like this y'all help help our help our black brother out <laughs> Well, just help a brother out. But like I said, we hear it tales from the crypt too. And a one take, you trying to copy Dax now? Now let me shut up. But it's like this. You know when it comes to a one take, nigga. Once it's a one take, you gotta make sure you remember all your lyrics, all of your metaphors, your catches or whatnot, all the bars you gotta remember in it. Or if, trying to, or if you forgot a bar, try to find a way how to improvise it, like act it out and such, so that way people can get the bar real quick. So it's like this, y'all. When it comes to Crip, he's like one of my best. He's like one of my favorite local, like one of my favorite YouTube rappers. So trust me, him, Screwface John, Dax. Hey, they lit as hell but either way we about to check this music video out make sure you like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get into this video. right here is how i kick off the album i don't really care about the outcome i just want to tell a couple stories and prove to everybody that i'm more than you think about me times a thousand i spent the last year looking back mm. on my accomplishments ignoring all the compliments i don't never really talk about because the second that i do one of you was going to choose to ruin my mood and bring me down some i can never get a glimpse of happiness because every time it happens i just think about the accidents that might come people Mm, I can never think about happiness because every time I do it, I think about the uh, bring on. me down some. I can never get a glimpse of happiness because every time it happens, I just think about the accidents that might come. Mm, I, I just think about the accidents that might come because it's like this, y'all. Sometimes when you do want to think about stuff that makes you really happy, nine times out of ten, there's things that does make you happy turns out to go be like turns out to have either it being ruined by something or something just basically takes a big old like you know dump on it so basically sometimes you gotta choose your happiness wisely Ooh, they bring saying. me down some I can never get a glimpse of happiness cause every time it happens I just think about the accidents that might come people on the internet remind me that I ain't shit and I agree with them but I pretend that I doubt them I mm, people remind me on the internet that I ain't shit but I pretend to but I, hold up hold up See, sometimes I try to catch them as really good might as come. People on the internet remind me that I ain't shit and I agree with them, but I pretend that I doubt them. Mm. But I pretend that I doubt them. Basically meaning that you can try to, like, it's like this. That's people on the internet, because it's like this. With the way how people are using social media and such nowadays, sometimes they be capping, and sometimes they be trying to tell some facts. But most of the times, they be just trolling on the internet because they don't got a life of their own. Like all their entire life is fixated on social media. And I'm, and it's like this, I'm not gonna, I'm not the one who like trolls on people on the internet. Like for one, and two, I got a life. I work at a job, I try to help my parents out and such, so what the hell do I look like trolling some 
being an internet troll. Hmm. Those type of people are the ones that be the P word. You know what I mean. I remember yeah. backstage back in Omaha, Mac told me stop making rap records all about him, but it's hard yeah. because a part of me doesn't even want a part of the shit, but the other part was all of it. I'm in the middle like Malcolm. How come? Every time I open my feed, there's so many comments full of positivity, but the second something's negative, it's inevitable that in my head all the positive has been outdone. Hmm. If you dealt with the hatred I get on a day-to-day -day basis, I promise you wouldn't make it, so don't even try. The only person that should hate me is myself, and I do. But you, I've never even given you a reason why. Ooh, the only person that should hate myself. The only person that should make it, so don't even try. The only person that should hate me is myself, and I. The only person that should hate do, me is myself. But you, myself. I've never even given you a. But for you, I don't even give you a reason why. Sheesh. Basically. It's like this, in order to be successful and such, you gotta find out what's wrong with you first and then try to fix it for yourself, not to please anybody else cause they ain't nothing. Cause they the same people who wanna talk all this ish and they don't wanna worry about nothing but you. When they should be worrying about their dang self. Promise you wouldn't so. make it, so don't even try. The only person that should hate me is myself, and I do. But you, I've never even given you a reason why. And more times than not, I lay in bed and I sigh, thinking what it would be like if I were to die. That's the time you see me hop on the Instagram live and chat with you guys running away from my mind. Somebody says some dumb shit to get under my skin, then I circle back around to where my. I wonder what he's doing here. Like, is he like, this must be like a ritual or something. But you guys running away from my mind. Somebody says some dumb shit to get under my skin. Then I circle back around to where my night begins. And I'm trapped with my thoughts to bring my life to an end. I saw a therapist back in college and he didn't do shit. Now my life is like ring around. It's like this. Nine times out of ten when you do go to therapists, they ain't gonna help me. You can try to talk to them all you want and so, but it's like this. As soon as when you think that you're actually trying to let out something, talking to somebody, you know what they're going to be like? They'll be like, well, your minutes are up. I got another session, but thank you. Like, come on. At this point, when you're going to therapists, they ain't going to... I'm going to be straight up honest with you. They just think it's... They don't really, like, try to help you help you. They literally just find a way how to not only let you... Let their time go on and such... They, they not really, they don't really, really care about you. They just try to make you feel better and move on and move on to the next person. That's basically from my mind. Is. Somebody says some dumb shit to get under my skin. Then I circle back around to where my night begins, and I'm trapped with my thoughts to bring my life to an end. I saw a therapist back in college, and he didn't do shit. Now my life is like ring around the rosy, spinning in circles, burning to ashes slowly. Ooh, my life is like ring around the rosy, spinning the ashes. Oh look. College and he didn't do shit. Now my life is like ring around the rosy, spinning in circles, burning to ashes slowly. Writing my hurt down in a verse before it gets worse, and I had to book a fucking hearse to hold me. And these albums are where I let it all hang out and show my scars for all to play loud. My mom didn't even know I tried to kill myself until I put tales from the crypt out. Mmm, and trust me, if his mom didn't have found out, let's just say we wouldn't have crypt here today. So. Make sure y'all always show this man some love. No matter what it is, you already know why. Scars for all to play loud. My mom didn't even know I tried to kill myself until I put tales from the crypt out. I remember writing some of those tracks I couldn't even record in the studio with Joey crying like a baby boy. All the scars are real and all the stories are facts. So if you listen, you'll see I'm way more than fast raps. Why the fact? And that is true. Baby boy, all the scars are real and all the stories are facts. So if you listen, you'll see I'm way more than fast raps. Why the facts be bad? And I get real mad when these people tell me that I only rap real fast. No and that's not true. Yeah, he may rap fast, but there's more. It's like this. When it comes to rap music or so, there's more. Especially when it's fast rapping, there's more to the. More to that person more than just fast rap. And even when they do do the fast rap, they try to find a way to show you their emotions or so. So trust me, they 
he's more than just in the studio with Joey crying like a baby boy all the scars are real and all the stories are facts so if you listen you'll see I'm way more than fast raps why the facts be bad and I get real mad when these people tell me that I only rap real fast alright copy this alright copy that alright sound like him alright sound like that cause I pull it all out deep from inside back from the depths of my dark black mind each track that I decide to write shaves off a couple good years of my life I debated on dropping this or not I can't lie cause no matter what it's gonna be an uphill climb cause before you even click you got a thought of what this is and every time I do that thought you're gonna box me in I got the stigma of a fast white rapper cause I'm white and I rap fast but why can't I just rap how I like and you listen without labeling my crap exactly just because it's like this that's how literally how most people would want to view crip as like literally label crip as he's white and he rap raps fast nigga it shouldn't be about how you label somebody it's like appreciating what they trying to do no matter if it's like the fast rapping they do or the lip rapping or storytelling no matter what style of rapper no matter what style of song or so they do it or what type of style they do it in appreciate how they giving it to you because if we just live in a world where people just label each rapper as what they could nobody would have to nobody would literally want to listen to no music no matter what barrier it is whether it's hip-hop whether it's rap whether it's hell even though you can say the trap beats and like the trap genre and such nobody or even rock and roll and so and so nobody would want to listen to no good music or try to venture out on something. Cause I do rap fast, but I also rap slow. For Christ's sake, I've shown you part of my soul. I'm not okay. Night of September, the end. These are examples of my hope. Yep. Night of September, the end. Whoa, what was the other one? Hold up, I wanna. Like, Own you part of my soul. I'm not okay. Night of September, the end. These are examples of my hope. Yeah, These are the parts of my soul that I wrote and took from my dome and spoke so you can relate back home. These are the locks of my brain that I broke and dove into so you can know what I know. And this album is more of that. I've got so many stories that have been untapped. So sit back and listen and buckle up for the ride. This is the tales from the crypt on how I'm buried alive. Sheesh. Bro, all I can say is, this man, he's a different person, bro. And basically, it's like this. What he basically saying is that, bro, he's more than just fast rapping. Because, trust me, he can rap fast, but he can rap slow. But most of the times when he's showing, he's like putting out songs. He shows, every, he always like tries to bring out songs that are from the heart from the soul like he just gave you three examples of it i'm not okay night in september the end bro this man is really about his craft so y'all shouldn't be taking him lightly but hey it's like this it's a good thing that he didn't try to commit suicide from years ago so it's a good thing we get to see him today so make sure y'all always keep on showing him love and such but either way let me know what you think down in the comments below it's been your boy humble ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let go